Hi, I am so excited to share with you today on the topic of money trauma. What is money trauma? Money trauma is beliefs about money that embed themselves deep in our minds, deep in our subconscious minds, also in the neurological wiring of our brains around money and unfavorable associations with money. One of the biggest money traumas of the last century, of course, was the Great Depression. The Great Depression shaped ideas about money in people's minds for generations to come. It had a huge effect on that entire generation and on their children. But also, recently we've gone through the Great Recession, and the Great Recession has traumatized many people. Many people don't trust big business, the banks, government, and are very fearful, even though it was a dip from which we recovered fairly quickly. So do you have any money trauma yourself left over from the Great Recession? Did perhaps you lose your house? And so you've got this lingering feeling of uncertainty, of unworthiness, maybe of shame as a result of your experiences then. Did you lose your job? Did your investments drop a lot? Did your retirement account go away? All of those things can linger. And the problem with those lingering is that you might now be making decisions based on that money trauma and not on the possibilities. Like the market, the stock market has rallied tremendously since the Great Recession. Most individual investors completely missed out on that stock market rally. Most institutional investors and hedge funds totally missed out on that rally because everyone was so afraid and no one suspected it might bounce back so quickly. So acting on the past has compromised the present for millions and millions of people. Let's work now on tapping out tapping away your money trauma. So think back to a really unfavorable thing that happened to you during the recession. I know one year I was trading stocks still in the middle of the recession, and I lost about 30% in my portfolio. That was like I'd never lost money before I lost a little bit of money here and there, but I never lost 30% in one year. I was used to making much more than that every year. So uh, I think about that. Now, when you think about that lesson from the recession. Feel where it lands in your body. Is it in your throat? Is your throat getting all tight? Is it in your forehead? Your, are your shoulders getting tense? What's happening in your body when you think about that lesson you learned during the Great Recession? Now we will not tap on that because the problem is never the problem. The problem is always linked to a childhood event, a childhood emotional learning that usually underpins the adult one. So now use that same feeling in your body, tune it to that, and ask yourself, what's the first time in my life I felt that same physical feeling? What was happening then? And that might be when my friends tied me to a tree. That might be when I made a fool of myself and didn't catch the ball during a football game. That might be when my friend Susie stole my favorite doll. Who knows what, what it was? But think of some event from your childhood that traumatized you and that is associated with that same physical feeling in your body. Also, give the strength of that feeling a number from 0 to 10. So you now have a body location, a number, 0 to 10, and an event. And we'll just call this the event as we go through tapping, but I'd like you to substitute the name of your personal event. So you've got your body sensation, you've got your degree of emotional triggering, 0 to 10, and you've got your event. Let's do some tapping. Say out loud after me, even though this event happened, I deeply and completely accept myself. This event hurt me. This event scarred me. This event was so unpleasant. And I still deeply and completely accept myself. This event. This event. All the trauma from this event. Living in my body. 
and living in my psyche. This event. This event. This event happened. It should never have happened. It was a horrible event. And I still deeply and completely accept myself. I accept myself even though this event happened. Okay, take a breath. Now tune back into your body and find out where that intensity is and its level right now. So perhaps it was an 8 in your throat. What's your throat right now? Is it a 7 or a 6 or a 2 or a 1? It's probably still a little bit there. So let's do another round of tapping on that event. The event happened. It was a miserable event. And I deeply and completely accept myself. I love myself. I accept my life. Even though it happened to include that miserable event. That event. That horrible event. That miserable event. The bad event. That awful event. That terrible event. That event. The event. And I totally and completely love and accept myself. Okay, take a breath. See how you feel. Get your new number, 0 to 10. And hopefully you're feeling much better now. I'd invite you to go back and tap on any and all money traumas left over from your childhood, left over from the Great Recession, and not carry that heavy burden of suffering with you through your life. You don't need to do that. It's not inevitable that you suffer. I want you not to suffer. I want you to wake up every morning, tap those things away, fill yourself with self-love, and start every day full of enthusiasm and joy, feeling prosperous, abundant, whole, perfect and complete, because that's the way I see you, and that's the way you are. Thank you so much.